Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Today, we're talking about working out. So I thought we could take this time to go over staying healthy, staying fit, being able to use your body so you can go out in the woods and do the things you enjoy. I know my physical fitness is a big part of my time in the woods. The, the healthier, fitter that I am, the more I can do out on the trail, at camp. Bushcraft can be quite physically strenuous and the fitter you are, the, the more you're going to be able to do, the more you're going to be able to accomplish. And if an emergency were to arise, you're better off being capable. In saying that, I'd like to give you a bit of perspective on physical training. You don't have to go to the gym and grind it out five days a week to, to stay in shape. Training can be really relaxed and fun and doesn't have to be a workout. Make it more of just something you practice rather than something that you gotta grind out for 30 minutes an hour a day. It's a completely different mindset. If you can develop that, it'll take you places as far as your training goes. With that, i like to show you some of the stuff that I do in my workouts when I'm training on my own. So up first is a club. You could use a hammer, stick, you could use a broom, it doesn't matter. The idea is to get a weight out on the end of a handle so you got a little bit of leverage working against you to give you resistance. This is something I make with an ax and a file and it's probably about 10 pounds or so, it's not real heavy. Even a club of one pound, two pounds would be would be great for somebody to work their shoulder. I just kind of flowed through some different movements that challenge different body parts, different areas more intensely than other areas. And I'd work one till, you know, I was just kind of approaching my, my threshold, my, my limits where I didn't want to push it too far. And then I would change the exercise up and give my body something different to work with that would challenge it in a different way, but yet let me keep on working and keep training. So next I'm going to move on to some body weight exercises, stuff that anybody can do anywhere. I'll show you a couple different variations so you can see how to progress them at different levels. The first is just a basic push-up. You can get a lot of work done with good old push-ups. They've been around forever and there's a bajillion ways to do them but one of the key points to keep in mind when you're doing your push-up is pulling your your arms into your core. Rather than push with your elbows out far in line with your shoulders, that's going to put a lot of stress on places that you don't want. So to get the most out of your push-ups, you want to pull with your elbows along your sides and actively engage both your back and your chest muscles as well as your arms. You want to feel the ground with your hands, you want to have your, your legs activated, you want to squeeze your butt, you want to squeeze your abs. You want to breathe down into your belly and use that pressure from the breathing to help support your back. That'll support from the inside much in the same way that a car tire supported from the air pressure. You want you wouldn't want to drive down the road with a flat tire. It you know something's going to break. And the same thing with your body. You want to support it with the breath. It's one of the biggest secrets of strength training out there, and nobody seems to be aware of it. Like very few, and a lot of people could be saved a lot of pain and, and grief and experience a lot more benefits and results in the gym just by improving their breathing. The next exercise we like to look at is the good old squat. You want to keep your body upright. You want to stack your spine in a column. Think of your hips as a table that you're pulling down to the ground. If you pull your elbows up and squeeze your fists, you can engage your whole musculature and this is the same that you would do with a weight whether it's a kettlebell or a barbell or a dumbbell it's the same thing 
And learning these principles with just body weight exercises is key in keeping yourself safe and progressing your exercises in a natural, beneficial manner.